Light a candle in the darkness Light a candle in the night Let the light of God unite us light Hello, I'm Tirso. I have been working with KLCF for 12 years as a teacher at Cashew Treehouse Learning Center. I have experienced the work KLCF do firsthand, and I would like to share one particular story with you. This boy ran away from his home at 6 years old because of an abusive stepmother. With nowhere else to go, he ended up sleeping on the streets. There, he joined another kind of family with street children and learned to beg and steal and scavenge to survive. Looking for food, he would often go to public places like carnivals, but many other people view street children as trash. Security guards and other people would often beat him and his friends, and whenever they would fight back and get caught by those security guards, they would be locked in a room all day with no food or water. For a year, this boy continued this cycle until he was approached by an ASCF social worker and asked if he wanted to live at Mango Tree House, the charity's children's home. That boy was me. I used to live and sleep on the street. With my two brothers, I moved into Mango when I was six years old. I was given food, clothes, shelter, and education, but most importantly, a family. When I first came to Mango, I was used to being a street kid. I would eat as much as I could until it hurt, as when I lived on the streets, I would not know when my next meal was. So I had to eat as much as possible whenever I could. Now, I'm head teacher of Casio Treehouse Learning Center. Here, we provide preschool education for children living at Payatas Dam site. Casio is a preschool for children aged between three and a half to six years old and teaches students to read, write, and basic maths. Many children in Payatas will not be able to go to school. Otherwise, and if they want to elementary schools, they will be too far behind their classmates. This is why I live at Payatas with my wife, Melissa, who was also a student of ASCF, and our two children, Johansson Felipe Elijah and Tamara Hallett. I could get a better paid job elsewhere. But I choose to work here at Cashew. My heart is to work with the children at Payatas to give them the opportunities ASCF gave me. Hi, my name is Jaira. I am nine years old and I am graduate of Cashew Tree House Learning Center. I live at Payatas Dam site and I am very proud of my father because he works so hard for our family. He works as a scavenger. When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer because I want to help people who need justice. Thanks to your help, I have always been in school and I've always been top of my class. Thank you for helping me and all of the Kashi students. Now I am a great by scholars still supported by the ASCF.
Hi, my name is Rochelle and I recently graduated college through Grapevine Scholarship Program of ASCF. When I was 10 years old, a terrible tragedy happened that affected my family. Um, we used to live not far from the dump site and when it collapsed, it buried our house along with my eldest brother. Sadly, that is not the only tragedy that has befallen this family. They lost their son in the Payatas collapse. But then in 2009, in the horrendous typhoon called Undoi, as the flood waters were rising, Rachel, who was away from home, sent her mother a desperate text message. The message just read, Mummy, the waters are rising. I don't know what to do. I spent most of that night with the victims of Undoi. I had a lot of time praying with Rachel's mother. It was five days before Rachel was finally reunited with her mother. And I had the pleasure of being there. And this is the photograph of her being finally reunited with her mother. With the help of God and through ASCF, I managed to finish my college studies and I am now working as a social worker, helping and reaching out for the children like the way ASCF helped me. Now I am changing other children's lives one person at a time and we can thank you enough. The shadows in the mist We pretend they don't exist They're the victims of the rich They're like shadows in the mist Shadows in the mist Hello, I'm Crystal I'm 14 years old, my birthday is June 12, and I was born in the cemetery. The cemetery is a scary place. It smells really bad, and it is not safe. Everyone else was sniffing glue here, but I never did. When I was four years old, this grave was our home. One day, someone threw a firebomb over the fence into the grave I was sleeping in. I got burned all down my back and was rushed to the hospital. This was finally the reason why we decided that I should live somewhere else. This is Mango. I came here when I was 6 years old. And I'm very happy because I have many friends here. And we are a family. When I was growing up, I realized here in Mango, it is a very nice place. It's complete. We are provided food and shelter and most importantly, I get to study. If I was not helped by ASCF, I would be in the streets. I would not know how to read or write. I would not know how to speak in English. I would have to work as a scavenger or beg. And would be taking drugs. Maybe when I'm older, I will be an artist, or a social worker, or an architect, or a teacher. I also want to build a foundation for street children, because I have experienced what it is like to be a street child. To my sponsor in ACF, I want to say a big thank you, because they gave me an inspiration and a dream to live life to the fullest. Thanks to you, a lot of children have been helped. Like me, having a child is a privilege 
and lives are being changed one person at a time. A child is tomorrow If only she is free From the cruel chains Of poverty Without your support, these four incredible stories could never have been told. There are so many more lives that are being changed with your help. We would love you to hear them all. So, the students would like to have the last word. Let the light